Get strong for your sport. So what is strong? When I say that, I think a lot of people will just think gym, heavy weights, on a barbell. And yes, that is strong. Being good at that, lifting heavy weight is strong. And it does make you stronger. And it does help you for your sport. But I recently made this upper body conditioning circuit and posted it to my YouTube and Instagram. In the caption, I posted that strength here is not necessarily strength there. And fast here is not necessarily fast there. But what does that mean? Well, it's a terrible way of saying it. But basically what it means is that physical qualities such as strength or speed get much deeper when it becomes involved in sport. The reason for this is because sports involve a certain skill. If you want to express your strength through, for example, a tackle or grappling, if you want to express your speed through hard cuts or side steps or sprinting down a line or running a curved line to beat a defender on the inside or outside, it's a skill. It's more than just being fast or just being strong in a certain aspect or context. However, Athletes need to know this. Why? Because every endeavor in the gym that athletes pursue, especially when it comes to strength, is attached to this idea that just loading more on the bar is what's going to get you stronger on the field. And no doubt, it most probably will get most people stronger on the field. But to what extent? Unknown. It's no secret that in sport, there are freak athletes who are insanely strong who don't have good lifting numbers. I always like to use the example of wrestlers when I talk to athletes about this. Wrestlers training rarely involve heavy lifting. It involves a lot of wrestling, which is their actual sport, and then a lot of various forms of grappling or drills where they have to sweep legs or anything like that. Their strength training usually really mirrors exactly that same type of thing, or moving another person instead of a barbell. So it is, at the end of the day, really specific to their sport as well. So if you were to take a wrestler who doesn't lift a lot of weights, but wrestles a lot, and take a person, more or less the same size, who lifts a lot of weight, who is really good at lifting, if you had to take them and make them wrestle against each other, the wrestler would probably be, appear to be the more stronger one in that context. That is exactly why I say when these qualities go from the gym to the sport, then the quality or chasing that quality becomes a bit deeper and there are more layers to it. The idea of layers is important because I don't want you to think that lifting weights is useless because it's not. Is then what is strong? What is strong? Getting strong also means bluntly that you need to get strong at doing that by doing the actual thing or different variants of it. For this, anything like actually picking up a person, picking up awkward objects, walking with a person on your back, or anything like that, which is more close to the actual resistance that you will have in real matches. This is what's referred to by a lot of people as old school training, but it, but it stands the test of time because this is how you can get stronger in that context. Because it is a skill at the end of the day, strength is also a skill. There are leverages involved that you need to get familiar with when it comes to moving another person, especially when that person is moving against you. You can even start looking at strength training, developing your grip strength with farmer carries, holds, using different grip variations on pull-ups like a towel or rock climbing even. Because in this context, grip is also very important. The general stuff of this is also, it's perfect for bracing when you have weight on you, but you still need to move, walk. That is why I really like suitcase carries, zercher carries. I think it's important to still talk about why the barbell lifts are also beneficial for strength. Barbell lifts help increase the potential for outputs. It's great for tissue resiliency and it gives you beneficial nervous system adaptations. However, because most people's training mostly involves the lifting when it gets to getting strong for their sport, I thought it might be important to highlight this other part of getting strong for your sport as well. To get better in your contact sport, you will need a lot of the real deal, meaning the actual thing that you need to train for. You need variants of it, then, and you need general strength training. There are layers to it and every layer is important.